In this video, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about serial communication, specifically something called UART. So, UART, U A R T, uh, is an acronym for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter, but people just call it UART for obvious reasons, right? Um, so why would you use serial communication or UART? Um, this is what allows you to have two devices, perhaps two computers, or um, I'll show you my setup in a little while, that want to communicate some data back and forth. And uh, this is done over wires, so it's important to know UART is not like Wi-Fi. You don't send it over the air. Um, so specifically, um, here I have an Arduino Uno that I'm using for this demonstration. And um, there's three wires coming off of the Arduino Uno. Uh, and so uh, one wire that you pretty much always have uh, in any type of uh, communication is the ground wire. Uh, this is just there for keeping both devices at the same reference voltage. Um, so I'm going to redraw these two devices except I'm going to put the wires between them now. So here's device one, here is device uh, two, and we can call this, this is the Arduino, and the other one is eh, a laptop, because that's what I've got. Alright, so I said there's three pins, the first pin, um, or the first wire that's uh, connecting is ground, which abbreviate GND. Uh, the second one is TX. It's called TX, which um, is short for transmission. Um, but it's actually not TX the whole way across because on the laptop side, it's actually called RX for uh, receiving or reception. And they're connected together. So basically, what this means is the pin on the Arduino that's transmitting um, will be received, that data is received by the laptop. So in order for the laptop to send data back, like in our diagram, uh, it's the exact same thing except going the other way. Uh, to the RX, uh, TX to RX on the Arduino. Now, of course, you'll see on the actual Arduino, there's a USB cable, um, which is a little bit different than UART, but um, before it gets to the USB, it actually is starting out as UART uh, before it goes into this chip here that converts it into uh, USB data, which, yeah, that's, that's a different topic. But um, essentially, this is happening except somewhere in between the Arduino and the laptop, there is a USB chip that's uh, converting it, but that's uh, out of the scope of this video. So um, how does UART actually transmit and receive uh, data? What is data? Well, it, it's binary. That's how computers like to communicate and like to think. Um, so binary is ones and zeros. Uh, in this case, uh, you think of on and off. Uh, if we have a, a wire um, that can be uh, in two states, the Arduino um, runs on about five volts. So I'm gonna make this diagram um, like this. I'm just gonna draw two lines and um, 
and then I'm going to draw, say, if I draw a graph that goes between these two lines that goes up to five and then down to zero and then up to five. Um, this is just representing what the voltage um, is doing going from zero to five volts. Okay, so just keep that in mind as I uh, draw some of these and show the pins turning on and off. Okay, so what does it look like whenever we want to transmit some data? Um, we'll start with something simple to, to transmit as our message, the character capital O. Now I'm using the character capital O because it's pretty easy to pick out visually um, what the binary looks like. And that's because its code is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so it has four group, it has a group of four ones, which is going to make it easy for us to see this happening when we take a look at um, the second part of the demo. I'm going to have it on an oscilloscope. Um, so, we want to transmit this thing. So we're gonna start, um, I'm gonna do my zero to five thing. The Arduino pin is going to actually start out at five volts, and then it's gonna drop down to zero for an instant. That's called your uh, start condition, whenever that happens, five volts, zero. Um, and now anything that happens after this is data coming through. Um, and then if we were, for example, transmitting this, you always start um, from the right side and then work your way uh, to the left. So it would be four ones. Um, and so we start, but then how do we actually tell it that it's four ones in a row? Uh, well, it's gonna end up just being one extra long um, uh, period of time up here at 5 volts and the reason uh, that that is because something called um, baud rate and baud rate is another term for that would be bit rate but it's how quickly um, both devices are uh, sending and receiving the bits. So a practical example, um, 9,600 baud rate means uh, 9,600 bits per second. What that means is um, every 9,600th of a second uh, the receiving device is going to check uh, this transmit pin and um, see if it's 0 volts or 5 volts. So it's actually going to check it four times during this period. And the Arduino that's transmitting it knows this, and so it's going to uh, hold the this pin at five volts uh, until four nine uh, thousand six hundredths of a second have passed, or basically it holds it high for four um, cycles, you might call it. And let's finish this out. So we have uh, one, two zeros, so we can draw our imaginary dotted line there after a cycle has passed back up to uh, 5 volts for that guy there and then back to 0 for our final one and then to finish everything off go back to 5 and it stays like that so this would transmit the character O so now I'm going to show you a live example of this on the oscilloscope 
Um, so yeah, this Arduino here is transmitting the character O, and you can look at the screen here, and we can see this is our start condition. This is five volts down to zero, and then you have to imagine your uh, dotted lines in there. It's like four thick, one, two, three, four, and then back down to zero, one, two, it's got a little bit wider, and then back up to five volts for um, just one cycle, and then back down to zero for the final bit, back to five, that's our end condition, and there you have it, the letter O. So I hope that helps to kind of demystify uh, UART. Um, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.